Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. <laughs> Let's go to 2-6 here and see if we can finish this level and the next level and finish world 2 and stuff like that. That sounds like a good idea. I don't know, I'm just kind of rambling it. <laughs> this is one of my uh, favorite levels of this world. This is a really ridiculous concept but it works really really well like you know piranha plants well they're actually movable like they can actually transfer from platform to platform and fireballs break this level but i'm gonna try and do it without fireballs look at that look at that <laughs> yeah we actually have some riders coming on our platform to restrict our movements and that's the gimmick of the level <laughs> It's really fun overall, but as I said, fireballs break it like no other before it. Oh, I missed that one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm... Oh, hopefully I didn't miss anything important. <laughs> uh, the whole idea is to get you to stay in the center, um, then you transfer over platforms, then piranha plants will get moved from one platform to another. It's quite interesting, even though I got... Yeah, I broke the level. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here's some more piranha plants. Probably gonna, gonna all end up at the top. Yep. So, uh, how you guys... Oh, oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, oh. Yeah, that was kind of... Kind of hard to avoid there. <laughs> if I would have offset that uh, top platform a little bit differently, I would have been fine, though. Or, you know, kill off the piranha plants, but I'm just trying to show ways around that if you don't have a fireball, I guess you could say. Oh, and yeah, you also got some Venus flytrap shooting their fireballs at you. It is a good time overall, and of course, down is death, so don't fall off the platforms. <laughs> but, you know, it's this is... you got some really, really wide platforms here, so it's very doubtful you will fall off. And uh, this is... see this little air pump here? Look at that, look at the pipe. Ground pound! <laughs> Goodbye, piranha plant! <laughs> I think that's the only one in the game like that. It's it's so silly. Mm, oh, so close! <laughs> Not bad, though. Got everything on the first run. Other than that one up on the flight pole, but whatever. <laughs> Alright. Hmm, maybe I could have finished this world in the last part. This is going quick. <laughs> Alright, to Dash Castle! It's the Spike Ball Castle! <laughs> that's quite the intro to a place. I mean, that's pretty intimidating, having a Spike Ball come down right above your head. It doesn't hurt you if you stay in place, but... Yeah, it's, it's just the whole psychological factor of the Spike Balls of Doom. And anyway... <laughs> uh, so, they bounce off of stuff, and oddly they accelerate after they bounce off of stuff. I don't know, I think they have a mind of their own. Um, ropes, you can swing by pressing left and right in rhythm to gain momentum and thus distance. Uh, here's a t tricky hallway. You gotta duck in these little corridors here. By holding down, you'll- Oh, shoot! I didn't slide enough. <laughs> by holding down, you'll automatically, like, plop into the hole. So you don't really have to worry about that too much. And for that one, yeah, you don't want to spawn that, uh, spike ball a little too early. Otherwise, you're most likely gonna take a hit if you're big. And now we go to the outdoor part of the castle, yeah! <laughs> With bullet bills! They're really, really slow, and they always travel in a straight line, so they're really predictable overall. Just wait for it, and look at that, look how- I was gonna say, look how easy it is to jump on them. And, I mean, it was easy to jump on them, but I mistimed it to the point that I couldn't get that coin. Oh, And yeah. Watch this, watch this! Bloop. <laughs> We've created a sort of kind of trap that we must create in order to progress, but it's not that difficult of a trap. Um, this level has two exits, and to get both exits, you're going to have to do something a little unconventional starting from here. There's a mini mushroom in this block, and if you beat the boss of this level with a mini mushroom, uh, I should say while you're mini Mario, you'll be able to reach... Um, the secret world four, but I'm not gonna do it this run because it's I'd like to practice the boss first and I'm gonna have to play this level twice anyway So yeah, if you want to switch back just use that mushroom in the block <clears throat> block over there and there we go 
that was pretty much the level. It's it's a pretty easy level, but it's pretty fun overall. Get ready for Mummy Pokey, the boss of World 2. It shoots stuff, and you gotta wait to get on top of its head, and that's it. this boss is a lot of waiting. <laughs> Ground pounds, as no regular size Mario will do, two damage per hit. So yeah, it's just like Bowser Jr. in a way. And take a look at that! 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 Three hits, and you get a key from Super Mario 64. <laughs> Little reference back to the N64 days. Now here's the transition point between World 3 and World 4. See that little that little trench that a mini Mario could go down? Yep, that's the hint of how to reach World 4. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to World 2 here. And I always gotta remember to get that cursor off the screen. <laughs> I definitely want to show the cursor because um, it's handy so like, like you can tell where I am on the screen with a, qu a quote-unquote stylus. But um, uh, you definitely don't want it on the screen all the time, otherwise it's kind of like an eyesore arrow that's not really doing much other than blocking whatever it's over. <laughs> I mean, if you leave it on, I'm not gonna hate you for it. It only it, I mean, it happens to the best of us every once in a while, but what I mean is try not to if you can. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna show this castle all the way from the start because some of these obstacles I messed up on, and yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna do them properly here. I already got that coin properly, so I don't have to show that. Uh, that one, I that spike ball there that I just passed, I came really close to the first time, but you should actually do it a lot safer, like I did it that time. All right, so at the, oh, it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna have to uh, go into mini form anyway. But uh, uh, we are getting close to the transition points from regular to mini. And yeah, you automatically slide on those slopes, so be careful. Uh, I should say the steeper parts of those slopes. You know what, I'm gonna, gonna do that, and oh shoot. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm gonna do that, and I'm just gonna run on top of the rope from there, and if I forget it. So that bullet bill, and yeah, whatever. Anyway, mini Mario time. I'm gonna sneak my way in here, because I know I can do that. And it avoids quite a bit of trouble. That spike ball sure does look innocent, doesn't it? <laughs> and you always got to time yourself with the spike ball to get in there, and it's a lot harder to do when you're floaty, but uh, you can do it with some practice. All right, got to do the boss as Mini Mario. It's it's a boss of patience, basically. So you just wait for it to be in a position where you can wall kick and ground pound it like that, and just watch for the. Yep, just watch for it popping out of the ground, and when it's going to spit, what you want to do is just jump out of its way. And when it, when it comes out of the floor, only like one and a half squares, it's going to go back in the floor really quickly. So chances are you won't be able to uh, get a ground pound off of it. So yeah, you might just want to leave it when it comes up one space like that. Mm, three... Oh, oh, dang it! I almost had it. Almost beat the boss, says Mini Mario on my first try here. Well... I've 100 percent this game like five times before, but yeah, I mean, first try this run. Oh, no, 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 no. See, you die in one hit as Mini Mario, and that's it's kind of a conundrum. Ah. Oh. Come on. It's all about the patience. What? What? I was above it! <laughs> I jumped the gun, and the gun hit me. And here we are, round two. I can't believe I took that hit. Like, I swear I was directly above it, and... Uh, <laughs> see, that works. Works perfectly fine. It's always scary when you miss. <laughs> Especially if you're in front of it well, when you miss, because you kind of like get stuck in place for a bit as it's coming towards you, and sometimes that'll be the end of you. Ooh! <laughs> Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. I should actually start out like above. Aw. Oh, gonna say above its head. Oh yeah! I win! <laughs> 
And now watch what happens. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Oh! <laughs> even flips the sign over. But of course, I'm going to do the worlds in order here. So I'm not going to uh, uh, start World 4 right now. I'm going to go back over to World 3, which is the tropical world of sorts. And start 3-1 right here. I could actually go take the alternate path by paying for the sign pulse, but eh, I'll do this first. And I should probably get this out before you know I lose the ability to easily grab my mouse and click on something. <laughs> Ooh, mega cheap cheap. They don't dance to the music though, so I'm killing them off. Sorry, if you don't dance, you're not sticking around. Eh, your buddies can stick around though. Because you guys, oh yeah, you guys know how to party. Like a school of rock. I was, I was wondering if I was going to make it in time because I had to wait for the cheap chiefs, but I was fine. I was fine. Ooh, choose your destiny block, huh? Uh, how about... Eh. Oh, apparently, um, you swim a little faster with the shell. I never noticed it before, but I guess you do, just a little bit. So maybe that would have helped me. Oh, jeez, cheap jump! That will kill you in one hit if it eats you. Yeah, they're the boss bass of this game, I guess you could say. The spike bass has more of the boss bass's pattern, but uh, the real threat is ye ol' cheap chomp there. And uh, we got not only a school of I didn't see it behind the bubble. <laughs> not only do we have a school of fish here, we also have a school of coins. Is that even possible? Well, apparently it is in the Mario world. I think those fish just keep spawning, actually. Uh, I think one of these... Oh, no, no, god, oh, god, oh, god. Oh, god. Okay, come this way, please. Please, this way, this way, yes. Good boy, good boy. I just want to get that coin, and I will leave you be. Hopefully I'll get it to despawn. <laughs> um, I think... Oh yeah, you want to hit that and hurry up and get that, because it's, it's opening up the path to that coin. And... Uh oh oh god, oh god, oh god. Please have mercy. No! Yes, they can even go through locks and everything. So they have... The advantage. Oh god! <laughs> I got greedy for the red coins. Duh! Hey, look what I got this time. It's a fireball. <laughs> yeah, that that really helps to uh, break the level here. And I just realized I'm pretty far back, aren't I? <laughs> yeah. That midpoint. Does not help you collect the star coins at all, does it? <laughs> Just look at it flopping as it, as it falls over. It's like, oh, and all three of the star coins are like all right in the same area. So it's not really that, you know, big of a deal having to go back or anything like that, but still. Anyway, now I can do this relatively safely, unless it respawns quick enough. It always keeps respawning. Oh, yes. Yep. Hmm. I was expecting something else, but yeah, well. Oh, I was right by the end. <laughs> That's how things go, I suppose. Oh, yeah! Recovering that life I lost to the cheap shop. Well, you can never technically recover all that you've lost, because a loss is always a loss, no matter how many other stuff you gain from it afterwards. Um, oh yeah, that goes all the way there, so I'm gonna have to go around this way. I don't know why I even tried that. <laughs> and also be able to save my game here. I think I'm gonna play this uh, one last level, and then that will be it. Again, I'm gonna save the Mushroom Houses for when I need them. 3-A. Here we go. We got Skeeters, and this in this game they drop bombs, and they're a pretty interesting little critter, I have to say. <laughs> uh, okay, reserve. Yeah, they die to fireballs, so that's good. And I should have hit that ring from the other side. Oh, poopers! Oh, I screwed up. <laughs> oh, by the way, you're gonna need to be uh, Mini Mario for this, so be on the lookout for an underwater block to uh, be able to do this. 
somewhere over the rainbow? I don't know, actually, I forgot. I think it's in the other section. Like, the section um, just after this. There's a couple of tran- Oh, no, 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 no. Transition points of sorts. And, yeah. Hit that. Run, 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 run. Or, say, swim, 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 swim. <laughs> go, go, go safe. Actually, it wasn't really that much of a threat overall. Oh, yeah. Jackpots. What's in these? Oops. Oh, jeez. Eh, eh. There we go. <laughs> That's one way to do it, but you might not be able to do that if you don't have fireballs. Um, over, over here, this is, uh, this is quite the coin to get. Wait for it. Wait for it to drop and break it open. Yeah, this could take a while. Yeah, wait, there we go, there we go. You've always got to avoid the bombs, too. That's another factor. At least I think they're bombs. They're, they're something. I mean, maybe they're like weights. Because they don't explode like bombs or anything like that. But, okay, here we go, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Mini mushroom! Now I gotta save it until the point that I need it. Which hopefully won't be too difficult. So, oh, jeez. Have mercy on poor little me. Oh. Okay, inside this pipe is the transition between areas, and... Oh wait, this isn't the spot that I'm thinking of yet. This right here, this pipe here is the spot, okay. Now run across the water, because you can as Mini Mario, and you can collect that star coin. Ah, missed time my jump, let's do it again. Just need a full running start here... yeah, there we go. And this will also give you a ever so slight shortcut forward, I guess you could say. I, I, I think it does. Uh, yeah, just that was where the pipe, I, I mean, that was a pipe I went into. Love being able to run on the water as Mini Mario. It's so, so handy in this stage. Mini Mario is probably the stage breaker of the level here. Mm. Oh, it also makes it really easy to get one-ups at times. And there we go. With that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.